Hello and welcome to Dhe IAS. Today we have got a fascinating topic to dive into, which is geospatial intelligence. It is this incredible technology that's changing the game for governments and organizations worldwide. It's all about safeguarding communities from threats and so much more. So let's jump right in. Geospatial intelligence or GEOINT for short is all about gathering and harmonizing information from various sources like satellites, sensors, aerial imagery, etc. Think of it as creating live maps and simulations that transcend geographical boundaries. This technology plays a vital role in recognizing and handling risks, bolstering emergency responses and overseeing environmental condition among other things. Now, to make this happen, we use some tools such as GIS which stands for Geographic Information System, GPS that's Global Positioning System and Remote Sensing. These instruments help us with geographic mapping and in-depth analysis of the geospatial data. All right, now let's talk about National Geospatial Policy of 2022. This policy is all about putting citizens first and using the geospatial technology to boost national development and economic growth. Here are some key points of the technology. First up, the vision and the goals. The policy aims to make India a global leader in geospatial domain. It wants to create a strong framework for the digital economy and better citizen services. The goals include developing geospatial infra and businesses, promoting innovation and strengthening national and subnational capabilities for managing geospatial information. Next, let's talk about the institutional framework for the policy. There's a thing called Geospatial Data Promotion and Development Committee or the GDPDC. It's going to be the big boss of the geospatial sector replacing the older committees. The Department of Science and Technology is going to be the nodal agency working closely with the GDPDC to making things happen. And we have got milestones too. By 2025, the policy wants to make it easier for businesses to use geospatial data and services. And by 2030, they want super detailed topographical surveys and maps. And by 2035, they are aiming for high quality geospatial data from water and even digital twins for cities. Now the question arises, why does all this matter? Well, geospatial technology is crucial for things like achieving the sustainable development goals, the SDGs, promoting startups and even for critical stuff like military operations and disaster management. So it's a great big deal. Now let's talk about the geospatial landscape in India. We have got some key players like Survey of India, ISRO and others who use geospatial technology extensively. As of 2021, the geospatial market in India was booming in other sectors like defense, urban development and utilities such as electricity, water supply, etc. All right, let's look into the key applications of the geospatial intelligence. First, we have got emergency preparedness, helping monitor national disasters like cyclones and hurricanes, then the disaster response, which assists in post-disaster efforts, environmental monitoring, for tracking climate related variables and of course the military and civilian applications helping everything from military movements to logistics. There's also transportation and logistics, autonomous vehicles and the digital twins which are virtual replicas of the real world systems. Now we'll look at how are we advancing in the geospatial data and technology. First up, the guidelines for the geospatial data in 2021 which made things more competitive and removed some restrictions. Then the geospatial energy map of India, a super detailed map that helps in planning and disaster management. The union budget of 2023 has some funding for using drones in agriculture. And of course, the national geospatial policy we have talked about earlier. And finally, the Yuktahara portal, which keeps track of geotagged assets in rural development programs. Now let's talk about some challenges in the world of geospatial technology. Security concerns are a big one. 
People worry about sharing data because it could be misused. Privacy concerns also come into play, especially since India lacks a dedicated data protection policy. And then there's the issue of limited access to high resolution data and some confusion over data sharing. But we are not giving it up. We have some actions for improvement as well. First and foremost, we need to establish a competent and specialized team to make the most out of geospatial data. Then we need to allocate enough funding and resources to expand its uses to other sectors as well. And not to forget privacy and rather prioritizing it is the key. To sum it up, we can say that the geospatial technology is a game changer in the time to come. It's all about monitoring and making smart decisions for national security and so much more. With the level of diversity that India has in geographical, cultural and other aspects, it would be very interesting to see India become a leader in collection of geospatial data, utilization of it and also dissemination to the other countries. That's all for today. Thank you for joining us. If you found this video insightful, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more such videos. We appreciate the thoughts and queries that you would like to leave in the comments below. Until next time, stay informed, stay curious.